I'm gonna clap and you're gonna jump, aren't you? Okay. You're gonna jump? There's a good duck. Okay. Hey, hey, it's LJ and welcome to another episode of LJ Reacts. For those of you who have only just sort of stumbled across this little YouTube channel of mine, what I do here is I go back through time and pick up on those little pop culture events that somehow have, have passed me by. Um, if there's something you want me to have a look at that you think I might have missed out on, chuck it in the comments below. I do read all the comments and eventually I plan to get around to doing most, if not all the all the suggestions. In fact, first couple of weeks of December this year, that's what I've uh, sort of dedicated myself to. It is the season of goodwill, and um, you people have been good enough to put up with me for the last 18 months. I can at least do you the honour of um, at least listening to what you have to say. Um, don't forget, uh, you can like the video, you can um, subscribe, but if you subscribe, don't forget to ring the bell, because if you don't ring the bell, you don't always get notifications, because the YouTube algorithm is evil. Um, oh, and of course, you can share the video, because if you share it, if you like it and you share it, and, and someone else sees it and they like it and they share it, that grows the community, brings more people to the page, it gives me more inspiration to do this, and you get more of what you like. So, it's a little action that can help you gain more of what you're enjoying. <laughs> um, and of course, we've got the socials, um, check out all my other projects, and you can show some appreciation by chucking some money in the tip jar. Um, and with that, we will be moving on to what I'm doing today. Uh. As it's like I said, December, it's the season of goodwill to all men. So, I am doing some of the suggestions that have been left in the comments for various videos, and today I am doing one left by a Mr. Metistoffel. Um, a recording artist, you know, right from what I gather from the YouTube channel, um, and from what from the conversation he was having in the comments with, with one of the other viewers out there. Um, it's uh, yeah, it it. it could be an interesting one. It, I feel there's there is some sort of joke in there, uh, but as I've not watched the video yet, I guess I'm going to find out what it is um, very shortly. So who am I doing today? Um, I am doing a technical metal death call band from. Yeah, I, I don't know what those words mean. Not really. <laughs> But yeah, they are from right here in the UK, uh, at least the musical section is. Um, for some reason, they seem to attract American singers, which is fair enough. Nothing wrong with uh, a bit of diversity, a bit of transatlantic love. Um, so they are from the wonderful city of Hull, um, up in East Yorkshire there, or... East Riding of Yorkshire, or, or I, I feel if I go into um, whole base geography, um, I will get some angry Yorkshiremen in the comments pointing out I've put it in the wrong place. So I will move swiftly on. Uh, oh, I, I, I didn't actually used to work up there. It's um, worked for the wrestling promotion that work that runs around that way. Um, great. Um, great places to wander around. There's some really nice places. Uh, also, the largest poundland I've ever seen, just to kind of balance it out. Um, <laughs> so, the band I am doing today is Infant Annihilator. Uh, what? What's so funny about that name? Um, it's so. I like I said. I don't know really anything about this band if it's a band i don't know i do a quick scheme read of the wikipedia and just kind of leave it at that and then just be told all the ways in which i've missed the point in the comments um 
but yeah apparently they chose the name just because they're like what's the most ridiculously metal sounding name that we can pick uh infinite annihilator was it um which i guess is slightly above a uh, six car pile up but as a metal name it's a scrubs reference although it's not really a reference if i have to point out it's a reference is it so yeah um yeah so uh, apparently they do some dark stuff um which is fun um i don't know i really am not sure what to expect with this um because it seems to be if there is a joke in it it seems to be hidden but i yeah although i have to wonder what it is about somewhere like in east yorkshire that, that makes you sort of turn to into like this sort of devil um not worshiping but that sort of genre of music um other than the bill bailey comment <laughs> once of uh something about irregular bust schedules which i could see being a thing but again my time at home never had an issue with that so uh, so yeah, I am doing this. We get so the song I've got is "Swine Ecologist." Um, when one of the comments on the video is, "Oh, uh, where is it?" Oh no, here it is. I feel like I've broken some kind of law after listening to this. It's um, sounds like it's going to be a very interesting experience for me, which um, ah. <laughs> uh, Let's let's give this a go. See, see what it's like, shall we? Here we are, Swinecologist by Infant Annihilator. Ah, oh, don't regret this just yet, but well, let's see what happens. Well, I, lyrically, I think it's fair to say not like anything else I've done on the channel so far. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I don't have words for this. Um, again, um, like I said, going by what Met Office... Uh, going by the conversation that was in the comments for the Slipknot video where I got this um, suggestion from either uh, there does seem to be a degree of um, what's the word uh, there does seem to be a degree of sort of self-awareness behind the band um, I, <laughs> it's back to what is almost back to when I did the Jesus Priest video um, the cathedral gates and i said some of the lyrics are just so ridiculous um i think it's fair to say this is the same as that only more intentionally so uh <laughs> although can't fault the musicianship uh but to be fair the vocals um the changing up of the vocals at first i thought it was two guys two different people but um as far as i'm aware it's just the one vocalist the one or at least one main vocalist doing this so the uh the other two in the band are just 
instrumentalists. Do a spit take. Um, I'm upgrading most of the gear soon, but I still don't, don't still don't want it covered in beer. Um, yeah, so uh, getting uh, here, I'm starting to see the darkness that I was uh, that I foresaw coming, and um, man. And that's where the technical metal aspect is. The uh, seemingly MIDI breakdown on the keyboard. <laughs> that, after all the imagery and the crunchy guitar works and the controversial lyrics, it's, that's almost a sweet relief. Um, don't know any other, I can't think of another word for it. Please bear with me. Um, oh, this is... Uh, I can certainly see why some of the lyrics are deemed a little dark and controversial. Um, it's... Uh, I really don't know what to make of this. Um, yeah. This is, um, nearly to the end. <laughs> I'm at the end. Oh. Alright, give me a minute and I will come back with some final thoughts. That was something, was it not? Um, I mean, musically, that was really well put together, I thought. <laughs> Lyrically, that was um, something. I don't know what, but it was something uh, um, 
so as far as I'm aware, this band, they are just a studio project. They don't actually tour. Um, lyrics, the where the vocalists and the instrumentalists are on, you know, two sides of the Atlantic there, it, they don't, it's all done online. Uh, the guys in Yorkshire do the instrumentalists and then the vocalist does a lyric over it. Um, I don't know. I, if it is a parody, I can I can certainly see that element to it because while the lyrics were screaming, they weren't particularly heavy, which sounds odd to say even to me who's saying that. Um, I mean, musically, it's great. The, although the MIDI breakdown, I cannot get over that. Um, you're doing, you know, what you expect to be like crunching sort of distorted guitars and like the heavy sort of double bass drums and then Dream Theater had it in their uh, Scenes from, scenes from Memory um, just they did it like a big breakdown near the end of the album and it was just some of the keyboards and that just sounded weird and out of place although it actually did although in context of the story it did work here it just made it seem that little bit more ridiculous um as uh would i choose to listen to more of this i don't know it's not really my sort of thing um even as a metal guy it i'm not a screamy metal guy uh, although to be fair, they rightly or wrongly, the lyrics were easy to understand. Whether that's a good thing or not is uh, debatable. Uh, I mean, if I was just to give it just a straight out of ten score, I'm gonna sort of knock it down. I'm just I'm not gonna. I don't mean to knock it too much, but it's like five and a half out of ten. It's not an amazing sort of standout song to me. Um, I'm gonna remember at least lyrically and the imagery of it. Um, but it's not one I'm gonna sort of just be like humming, just walking along the street. Going, uh, yeah, you know, like, no, I'm not gonna try. It. I'm not gonna say it on the microphone because um, if it's not already, that will probably, you know risk demonetizing any any future videos I put up so yeah I'll still get a five and a half um, although for entertainment rate I'd say I'd knock it up to a seven and a half but musically five and a half is, is as high as I'm really prepared to go on this one uh, so that's all I got for now um yeah, I'm pretty much at the end of my string of of doing suggestions. Uh, starting next week, I'm going to be doing more Christmas stuff. I have, I think I have one more suggestion, plus this video is going up late. So there's a second video coming up either today or tomorrow to try and, to try and make up for it. Because I love you and everything. Uh, so yeah, watch out for that. Um, so yeah, Christmas stuff coming up soon, and then I got a couple of just random bits and pieces tying me over to the new year, where I'm um, gonna be doing a slightly different setup. So uh, for the framing will look the same, but some of the production might come across a little bit different. So something to look forward to. Uh, so yeah, other than that, all I've got to say is just the standard stuff of. You got the stuff up there, and you got the stuff just there, and you've got the tip jar just there. Um, so, till next time, I've been LJ. <laughs> um, this has been ridiculous, and most of all, as ever, a bit emotional.
something about you know needing to find, find the money to pay the rent that just doesn't quite you know cover them. Um, that sort of gets oh, I've already lost my train of thought. Uh, if you want one of you, if there's something you want me to to try it. Uh, Oh. I will get this right. Third time's a charm. I think my voice is nearly gone.